Oik BW Trace is the tool I use when I'm debugging my WordPress plugins. I'm going to show you some of the capability of this plugin, how you change the options on the admin screen and how that affects the output, and some of the special processing logic associated with action hooks and filters. There will be a demo of a plugin called Dinlo which has got some problems, and we'll talk about the two main APIs BW Trace 2 and BW Backtrace. Finally, we'll show how you can start tracing from within the wpconfig.php file. First, we'll activate the plugin. Go to Plugins, select the BW Trace plugin, and activate it. This then produces two admin pages, OIC Trace Options and OIC Action Options. Let's look at OIC Trace Options. I've previously used this, therefore it's, I've already completed the name of the trace file and I've enabled trace and so that it will create a new trace file every time I run tracing. I'm going to select the error level of tracing to information level, which is the standard level and I'll leave the other options as they are. The trace log file is a plain text file which you can view using any browser. It's a series of records produced by the different APIs. Trace plugging itself produces some of these records. Other records are produced by other plugins or themes. Each trace record is produced in a standard format depending on the options you've chosen on the trace options page. Here we see the file name, the line number, the trace level requested, the function name, the number of times the function has been invoked, the trace record count and the trace data itself. If we select the other checkboxes and update, then refresh the trace record, we'll see a different format. If we now set the trace level to debug, we see many more records being produced since these are the debug trace records. Using OIC action options, we can enable additional functionality and get more information in the trace file. The BW action counts tree shows the nesting of hooks and filters with a number of invocations of the most nested hook. Let's for, look for escape HTML. Select the trace shutdown status report and login summary file checkbox to get a summary data report in the trace log. The same information echoed in HTML comments. And an entry in the daily summary log. When this checkbox is ticked, the summary report is produced even when tracing is not enabled. I've now selected the Trace Error Warning and Notice Messages checkbox and activated Dinlo, the world's worst Hello World plugin. Even though things appear to be working fine, the trace log shows otherwise. Here's the Dinlo program. Let's get rid of those, get rid of those warning messages simply comment out this and uh, create a different problem instead. The var dump and printr debug 
backtrace that we see here might have seemed a good idea but it's actually preventing us from scrolling the dashboard menu so that's no good that's not the only problem the trace log shows other things head is already sent we should uh, replace this code with a call to BW trace two and this code with a call to BW backtrace. Oh great, WordPress track 16956 raises its ugly head. The two APIs to use in tracing are BW Trace 2, which is replacing a used to var dump or print R, and here's some detailed definition of the API, and BW Backtrace which is a replacement for printing out the results with debug backtrace. There's some documentation for that. If for some reason you need to put trace or backtrace calls into WordPress core code, then you need to enable tracing uh, at startup and do this by putting some code into your wp-config.php file. Here's an example of code I'm using, and here's the documentation for it. For more information on OIC BW Trace, please visit the website oikplugins.com. <laughs>